AR, VR, and regulation. The big themes in Austin this week as tech's latest innovations are shown off at the annual South by Southwest Festival. Julia Borston is there live with more on what she's experiencing. Julia. Well, Morgan, technology is getting very personal and very immersive here at South by Southwest. I'm here at Accenture Interactive's demo space. I'm wearing what's called the Tesla suit. Check it out. It's got sensors all over my body, and it's designed to be worn with this VR headset. We're going to show you what you'll see if you put on the VR headset. Now, this suit will send pulses all over your body to make you feel like you're standing close to some music, a music speaker. You're getting pelted by rain. It'll even heat up to make you feel like you're getting too close to a fire. It's designed to train first responders responders or bring you in to a very intense VR game. We're also hearing a lot about augmented reality here at South by that makes e-commerce tangible. Take a look at this app enabling consumers to virtually try on these Kendra Scott earrings. Artificial intelligence also a to hot topic here. It brings this movie poster to life. This mirror created in partnership with Disney reads consumers moods then plays one of five movie trailers depending on what mood they detect. Another big trend, drones. Across ta town, we took a VR flight in this one-person lift aircraft drone. No connection to the lift ride sharing service. But they do plan to offer 15-minute flights for one person at a time, aided by AI and a remote pilot for about $250. This is not the future of personal aviation. It's the present of personal aviation. We're starting now. People will be flying these aircraft this year. I've flown the aircraft. We have a lot of testing to do to make sure it's bulletproof safe for people to fly. But this is, this is happening now. With all this big tech on display here, we're also hearing a lot about tech regulation. Senator Amy Klobuchar talking about taxing the way big tech companies use data. And Senator Elizabeth Warren doubling down on her call to break up the tech giants, so certainly a push and pull here.